Well, the Institute is, a, is part of the University of Technology Sydney and we're a research organisation. So we, we do just research and we do contract research uh, for government, for utilities, for companies, for community organisations. Uh, and we also do public interest research uh, of, of different kinds. And our mission is to create change towards sustainable futures. So we are choosing our projects, choosing our clients, choosing the way we work on projects in order to fulfil that goal of creating change. So why did the university and the institute nominate to organise the Australian event? Well, the uh, Institute for Sustainable Futures at University of Technology Sydney have got a long record of working in the area of what is often called deliberative democracy, which is the use of these innovative approaches to community engagement, which often involve random selection of citizens so that you're getting true representation, uh, and often involve uh, periods of deliberation and uh, informed discussion. Mm -hmm. And so we've had uh, uh, a number of projects where we've uh, done this, including some on climate change. Uh, and so the Danish Board of Technology, who are auspicing uh, this process worldwide, approached us to be the Australian partner. Uh, and after some consideration, we agreed to that. Can you tell us a little bit about worldwide views on global warming? There are significant elements to it. The first is that people are truly representative. They're not the usual suspects, mm -hmm. so-called, the people who normally have a voice in these proceedings. They're uh, uh, ordinary uh, householders who are coming together. Uh, the second thing is that they'll be in small groups, groups of eight uh, on each table, with uh, skilled, neutral moderators or facilitators at those tables who will be able to guide them through to ensure that people have their say, uh, to ensure that the process is robust and that uh, people are listened to. Uh, and the process is also uh, very carefully structured uh, so that it's the same across the world uh, within the constraints of different cultural backgrounds and so on. And many people are saying that the Copenhagen Conference is our our last and biggest chance mm -hmm. to get this right. The University of Technology Sydney uh, has a, a, a long and proud record of supporting uh, important issues and being uh, engaged in public debate, what universities are supposed to do, which mm -hmm. is to engage in public debate and do so in an in a independent and strong way. In this particular case, there also happens to be very strong research outputs and research outcomes uh, that we hope will come from the process. I mean, it's partly that it's a uh, a, a rigorous process, uh, carefully designed and carefully implemented. Uh, it's a process which will be replicated across the world, so there'll be a rich data set coming out of this, uh, as well as, of course, we hope, uh, a strong influence uh, on the public policy outcomes. And uh, we, we would hope, and part of the objective of the project is to attract as much publicity as we can, not for its own sake, but in order to raise the consciousness in the minds of the people who will be going to the Copenhagen conference, the, the negotiating team uh, from Australia, including uh, the ministers and elected representatives, so that they're aware of what citizens' views are mm -hmm. from this most uh, rigorously designed process. Yeah. Engaged in new media, so there's a Twitter uh, following of this uh, project and a Facebook site and, and so on. And uh, we're also uh, setting up meetings with key uh, stakeholders after the process to mm -hmm. ensure that we can pass on the results before Copenhagen and there'll be obviously a report and uh, maximum publicity on the website so including from the evening will be the second results of being posted on the website after New Zealand mm -hmm. uh, and then as the world turns and the other processes uh, come into play uh, by the Sunday the 27th that'll be uh, the results across the world will be known.